Torah in two minutes-ish. I don't know how much Torah this is, but it is at least a story that took place in this synagogue. I walk into the copy room every day, and it didn't even hit me how strange it was, because I'm so used to seeing Jewish and Israeli images all around my world, that it didn't hit me that there were reams and reams of copy paper that had a picture of Masada on it. There were boxes and boxes and boxes of this next to the copy machine. Um, and one day I finally flip over the paper, I had to refill the copy, and indeed, um, it's Israeli paper, which is strange because I'm living in North America, which has rich, rich forests. This is a massive continent with incredible forest land and massive timber supplies to produce paper. Israel, not so big, not so many, not so many natural forests. It's incredible. Like, what has to be going on? in the economic world to make it reasonable to export paper from the Middle East, from Israel, to the United States, to North America. Um, I can't even imagine how it works, but here it is. Um, and there are piles and piles and piles of these things. So, one, there are a lot of bad news stories that come out about Israel. The Prime Minister's going to be indicted, it seems. Uh, there's a contentious election. Uh, there are, it seems to be otherwise good people making bad decisions. There are some bad people making bad decisions. And in the United States, there are people in positions of responsibility who use anti-Semitic tropes to speak about Israel. None of that is good. And at the same time, amidst what's often negative news, um, there are really wondrous things that go on. The idea of creating a nation that becomes so economically diverse that is not just high tech that or oranges that Israel exports, but paper to the United States um, is really um, it's really amazing. Maybe it's fulfillment of Herzl's dream. Um, maybe it's just an economic blip. But here it is evidence that the world isn't always as it seems to be. And I know that when I make Torah study sheets. And I print them out on this paper, and it fulfills the verse that we say every Shabbat, Ki Mitzion Tetzei Torah, that from Zion will come forth Torah. Now we are printing out pieces of Torah on that which comes out of Zion. It's an incredible world, and we should never cease to be surprised by it. Shabbat Shalom.